Hey everyone, it's Anna. Welcome back to my channel. I got some fun mail this week. I received this set of watercolors from Mi Lang. It is um, solid watercolor pigments. Uh, 48 colors, and it looks like these might be the colors uh, included inside. So we go from all the way from a white to uh, a couple different yellows, a bunch of oranges and reds, um, a couple pinks here some blue beautiful blues lots of greens and some earth tones as well and then it lists some opera colors down here and uh, looks like some metallics as well so let's take a look and see um, what this set looks like let's see this um, company is the same company as uh, the pretty excellent uh, watercolors. So it'll be interesting to see how uh, this set compares. I have that um, obviously pretty excellent set and I really enjoy those watercolors. They are really fun to use and uh, so if these are similar that's exciting. Ooh, look at the tin, it's beautiful. It's like a ombre from purple to pink. It has a uh, little thumb thingy on the bottom. I'll probably be taking that off. And then it's got little feet there for the tin to rest on your desk. Cute. I love the tin. That's cute. It is about 10 by, oh, five and a quarter or so. so let's take a look inside here. Really nice big uh, mixing uh, wells. There is a swatch card. Interesting, there's a website for you. Oh yeah, see here's Paul Rubens. So they're somehow affiliated. There's uh, a list of all the colors, of course, in English and uh, in Chinese character. Interesting, I don't see those um, opera colors listed here. Well, oh, it looks like there's just um, a whole row of metallics. Ooh, exciting. So, um, all right, so let's go ahead and swatch these and uh, see what they look like. Pretty excellent. Oh, yeah, see? <laughs> Ooh, I bet they're going to be very comparable, and that's exciting because I really do enjoy those paints. Um, there's all the colors there. It looks like they have a set of 24, 36, and 48. Nice, very nice. It comes with this. Um, it's like a little plastic overlay, so you can get the color name, the um, color number, and looks like the opacity and light fast ratings. They have several. Basically, they all say four stars. <laughs> I don't know about that, especially because they have four stars on these um, typically fugitive colors, these bright pinks. But I'm not going to be using these to, um, you know, hang on the wall for decades. I'll be using them on cards, and I'm perfectly fine if they are uh, poor light fast because let's face it cards don't last forever so this is a really nice tin it also comes with a water brush very cool I actually enjoy using water brushes I don't have any problems with them at all and it comes um every all the paints are in a little plastic insert here but I bet the tin is really nice on the inside here if you finish up these paints and wanted to remove this you would have a nice uh, palette to use with all different kinds of room for other paints they also sent me this. This was exciting to receive. It's a little um, travel set, travel brush set. It comes with a little pouch and two brushes. Let's see, this is from Artix, so they must be affiliated with Paul Rubens as well, somehow. Blank on the inside. It says, the smell will dissipate after being used for some time. <laughs> they don't actually smell. Uh, place, uh, please cap the brush after it dries out completely. Do not scratch the pen body. Avoid sun exposure. Do not soak in water for a long time. Excellent. All right. Well, let's take a look at these. These are cute. 
Um, I notice at the end they don't have a hole. Uh, most travel brush caps will have a hole down here so that if you do cap your brush before it's completely dry, that uh, moisture can uh, escape through an end cap there. Well, that's a cute little thing. Look how little that brush is. Tiny. Well, we will definitely be giving this a try. I have some clean water here on my desk. Cute. That's adorable. Let's cap it and see how it does. Uh, at some point it will, it's a little loose, but if you twist, I, if I'm twisting it a little bit, then I find a spot in which it seats um, securely. So again, no hole at the end of the cap, but this is cute. I like how they're different colors. I'm guessing this is a bigger size, and sure enough, it is. Oh, cute. Let's uh, clean this one off here. I'm just uh, rinsing it in some clear water here. Oh, nice. I might use this brush to do my swatches then. So this one just uh, fits here on the end. Yeah, if you... I twisted it. There was a loose spot on it, but I twisted it a little bit, and now it's, it's sitting on there nice and secure. This is cute. little travel case that they would fit inside, and it has the little Arctic logo embossed on there. Cute. Cute, cute. So let's see what we've got here. Um, let me find a piece of paper. Oh, I don't need a piece of paper. I have one here. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and set this off to the side here. Let's see, I will start down here with white. Um, I can't decide if I want to use this brush or the little, I think I'll use the little travel brush or the big travel brush. I'll put this one aside. Cute as can be. Huh, it's really lightweight. Very nice. So I've got some clear water here. And uh, let's just take a look at these. Oh, I'm excited to try these paints because if they're uh, like the uh, pretty excellent ones, um, I'm excited because I really enjoy those and it'll be nice to have um, more of these in my stash here. So I'm going to start right here with this lemon yellow. Ooh, beautiful. I'm going to put a uh, black line down for white and let that ink um, get nice and dry before I swatch the white. Let's see. I'm not concerned about the opacity of any of these other ones. I think they're going to be really transparent. So we won't bother with putting a black line down the rest of the um, color sheet here. Here's cadmium yellow. Ooh, I love this color. All right, next is magenta. Oh my gosh, I love that color. That's beautiful. Uh, deep magenta is next. Wow. Then we have Matter Red. Oops, I made a mistake. I was supposed to put them above. <laughs> oh well, I'll fix it on the next row. And then next we have Rose Red, and this is going to be a beautiful... Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. All right. See, I was supposed to put them above the words. Whoops. <laughs> All right, next is uh, Violet Red. That's this color down here. Ooh, this is going to be pretty. Let's see if I can do it right this time. My water's in the way. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Next is fresh purple. Wow. Holy cow. That is so vibrant. Wow. Next is deep violet. Then we have Prussian blue. I love Prussian blue. Look at that. And then we have Payne's gray. And I bet this leans blue, which is why they put it up in the blues. Normally Payne's gray would be down by your earth tones. So, oh yes, look at that. It's very much like an indigo. Gorgeous. I might have to show you that. That's so pretty. All right, let's start down here with flash yellow. And I might need to put a drop of water on these and let them activate. I'm going to give it a try here. Sometimes with metallic colors, they are a little more difficult to reactivate. Flash yellow. Ooh, that's pretty. 
Oh, I'm excited. Uh, next up is Magic Red, which looks like a beautiful, like, um, ooh, that's so pretty. Uh, it's a beautiful pink. This is Magic Red. Gorgeous. You can see the shimmer in there. I love all things sparkly. Next up is Rose Red. Also very beautiful. Then we have Flash Red. I'm thinking if I, um, if I put some water on here and let them activate for a bit, like a minute before I, oh my gosh, that one is super sparkly. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but that one is really, really sparkly. <sighs> um, oh, it looks like we have another one called Flash Red. C4605 and C4606, clearly different numbers, but they have the same name, but this one actually looks more of like an amethyst color instead of red. Kind of a gray purple. Ooh, that's really pretty as well. Oh, I'm excited to have these. These are gorgeous. I'm going to put a drop of water on these and see if I get them to activate a little more. Uh, let's see. I'm going to use my little pipette here. I use one of these to add water to my pans sometimes. You can also just spray them. There. See if I can get a little more uh, pigment out of these. The next one up is Deep Interference Blue. This, I think, is going to be gorgeous. Oh, wow. That's really pretty. Next up is Flash Blue. I've added so much water that uh, I've got big pools. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's really sparkly. The Flash ones are really, really sparkly. The others are sparkly, but not like the Flash ones. They are like extra sparkly. Wow, Deep Interference Green. This is beautiful, it's like a mint color. Wow. Next up is Fruit Green. Can you guys see the sparkle of these? Fruit Green. Next up is Bronze. Ooh, wow. Oops, I got some in the green. Oh my gosh, that looks like melted metal. It looks like a melted penny. <laughs> wow. I don't know if I, you guys are going to be able to see this, but you can actually see the sparkles moving through the water. That's pretty. All right, let's take another look here. We've got flashing pearl. Ooh, this is going to be gorgeous. Is there anything like the other flashes? Wow. We'll get it on the brush. <laughs> Beautiful. That is really sparkly. And royal gold is the last one in this row here. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These are gorgeous. <laughs> What's so fun is the copper pigments. You can still see them moving. I hope you guys can see this. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Let's see if I can get the water back. You can really see the shimmer move through the water. Gorgeous. Oh, I'm excited to have these. How fun. I'm going to set this aside to dry, and then um, we'll do a little comparison to my swatch card for my pretty excellent set, and uh, just see how similar these colors might be. I'm loving the shimmers. Oh, I need to find a piece of black. Um, one, one moment. I'll be back. I'll be right back. All right, I've got a black piece of cardstock here. I'm going to give these um, shimmers a quick swatch on black. So starting with yellow, I don't remember what they're called. Flash yellow. I'm going to let this one... There we go. Beautiful. My water is really pretty too. It's got lots of shimmers in it.
take a look at these. So starting at the end here with the flash yellow. These don't have much pigment in them, but they are super sparkly. And then this one is that dark gray purple. Can you see the, look at that. There's no pigment to that. It's just sparkle. Gorgeous. Wow, these are really pretty. All right, no, I know that these are not in the pretty excellent set, so that is definitely a bonus for this particular set. Look at that blue running down right there. I'm like a magpie. Ooh, sparkles. <laughs> All right, I'm going to set this aside and let this dry as well. And uh, hope I can let it dry without getting all funky. Here. Wow, that's gorgeous. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, let's go ahead and paint with these beautiful paints. If you could see my water here too. Let me see if I can swirl it around so you can see. See all the sparkles in the water? <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm like a magpie. My nest would be full of all things glittery. <laughs> all right, gorgeous. So here are the colors. Gorgeous, right? Oh my gosh, they're so bright. And these are really fun, these glitters. I really like the uh, flashing pearl. Um, it doesn't have any pigment to it. It's just uh, shimmer. So really beautiful. And this uh, flash red, even though it's a really light uh, pink, um, really beautiful. It would be a really beautiful accent over red. And then the flash yellow up here at the top, also really beautiful. So, and this flash blue, I think it must be all the flash ones that I just am really drawn to because they're extra, extra sparkly. So, um, but I have the, um, swatch sheet here for the pretty excellent set, which is, uh, one of my true favorites, um, as far as a budget watercolor goes. And let's just take a look at the colors here. This is the pretty excellent one. And this is the, um, the 48 set that I just swatched out. The sap green here is called tree green in the, in the uh, new set. It may be a little slightly different pigment, um, but these two look the same, same. These probably are, this is probably a little heavier um, put down of the pigment than I did here, but they look like they could possibly be the same. And uh, the Van Dyke Brown, I think is a little darker in the original set compared to the new set. And uh, we have Lamp Black here instead of Coal Black here. But those are pretty close. And so let's take a look at this side here. Oh, you may not have been able to see that tree green. Here's the difference between the sap green and the tree green. So these look also very similar as well. These three purples here are really beautiful. So the same here and here. The Payne's gray is still really blue in the original set and the new set. And then the yellow green here looks to be the same as well. And then let's take a look at the yellows here. They look very much the same. This may just be a darker um, uh, lay down of the pigment. It's a different paper, so that might have something to do with it as well. Um, but the vermilion uh, looks the same. Scarlet, gorgeous. I think these are all really similar colors. So if you have the um, pretty excellent set, this set may be a, mostly a dupe for you. But of course, these uh, glare colors here uh, would definitely be different. Um, for what you may have in your collection. So gorgeous. But let me go ahead and show you some um, paintings that I did. Here's one that I did. I drew uh, my chicken coop and instead of painting it red, I painted it with the yellow ochre. So I just did a quick sketch of the coop there and um, did some watercolor painting and then added a cute little sign at the top there. And then I did add some glitter to the sky and to the coop and to the windows. So I don't know if you can see the glitter there, but it's really, really pretty. And then I added a glitter here to the lamp as well. And then I added it here to this flower pot too. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's really pretty. I love it. Um, oh, speaking of glitter, here is the um, shimmer colors on the black now that they're dried. Look at how pretty they are. Woo! Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I think this one's my favorite. So pretty. 
Um, and then here's one more painting I have for you, um, which I'll go ahead and show you the painting process of, uh, but here's the finished um, painting. Really, really pretty. So again, it's very similar to my coupe. I just did one window instead of two, so. But thank you so much for watching. I, this has been really fun. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, I'll put links down below to the paint set as well as to the um, watercolor block if I can find it. Um, this is again the Paul Rubens watercolor book, cold press uh, watercolor paper. So thanks so much for watching and uh, I'll talk to you again soon.
Thank you. 